Back here with another video. Now today we go take a look at the Stephen Hawking so-called debt. And I'm already tell you people, I already told you. This one right here is a 100% mannequin. Now they go say he die at 76. That's how you get your number 13. All they bring to the masses is garbage. Just remember that. They post up a mannequin basically to trick the masses. That's how dumb down we are. Let's go into this video right here and break it down. Let's go. Hello, everyone. I'm Aisha Sassay. We want to bring you up to speed with the breaking news just reaching us here. The Stephen Hawking, one of the brightest scientists of the modern age, has died at the age of seven. Bam! Right there. Take a look at that right there. I already break it down for you people. This one right here is a deception, okay? This is a mannequin right here. No doubt about it. Some type of robot. They build it out of silicone and put it right there in front of the masses, tricking them. Call it Stephen Hawkins, one of the brightest mind. This one that believe in gravity waves and space. Wow. One of the dumbest mind, basically. They bring to the masses to trick him. And then they basically pull him off the scene from young and then put this mannequin in front of the people. And people actually believe that this person right here, this, this thing right here, is an actual man. No, it's not. It's a mannequin. Never drool at the mouth or anything. You believe somebody been a vegetable for 50 years? It's garbage, 100%. He, he was one of the uh, greats of science. Uh, we remember all the likes of Albert Einstein. Take a look at the face and analyze it yourself. It's a damn mannequin, 100%. They call Stephen Hawkins basically tricking the masses and keeping them dumbed down. You can never listen to these people right here that, that have anything to do with science. It's all fucking fake. Another religion they bring on the masses to discredit God. Talking about Big Bang. It's all garbage. Isaac Newton. Um, his theoretical physicist, cosmologist and author shaped our understanding about the universe. He did not let a rare disease stop him from doing pretty much anything. His vision of humanity was profound. Yeah, his family have released a statement now confirming the very sad news and it reads, we are deeply saddened that our beloved father passed away today. He was a great scientist and an extraordinary man whose work and legacy will live on for many years. It's of course, it's, it go live on for many years because y'all go push this one right here forever, just like Albert Einstein and all of the rest of them puppets they got for the masses. This one is a mannequin and it basically tricked the people. Wow. Wake up, masses. You got to wake up on this one right here. It's a mannequin. It's not a real person. That's why it never drool at the mouth. Nobody stay a vegetable for 50 years. It's all Persian persistence with his brilliance and humor inspired people across the world. He once said it would not be much of a universe if it wasn't home to the people you love. We will miss him forever. It's all bullshit. We're living on a flat earth, not a universe. <sighs> Well, Professor Hawking inspired millions of people around the world. His was a life of challenge. It was also one of legacy. Here's Matthew Chance. By any measure, Stephen Hawking's life was incredible, even more so because... The same bullshit they bring the masses, basically make a computer talking, and they believe it's a real person right there. Wow. <laughs> Wake your ass up, people. This is not real. It's all fake. They give the masses. Wow. In the 1960s, he was diagnosed with ALS or motor neuron. ALS. This one of ALS from back in the days, 50 years ago, and just died at 70, 76. Wake your ass up. Nothing but satanic coded. ...disease and given just a few years to live. This rare form of motor neuron disease... Got a few years to live from he was in the 20s and still living at 70 years old. Wow. Tim virtually paralyzed, unable to express his profound vision of humanity and science. There he is right there with Mandela. Found right vision. Here. This is another faker right there. All they do is fake the masses, 100%. Everything you get from the mainstream media is basically fake to program the masses, stay them dumbed down. Humanity and science without a voice. Bam, right there. There go your so-called medal right there. That's the Freemason star right there. Freemason medal right there. Obama gonna put around his neck. Wake your ass up. They all Freemason puppets. One hundred percent. This one don't even have a neck. Or you go put it on. Somebody hold his head up so you can put the medal on. Wake your ass up, people. It's all garbage. It's a damn mannequin, a silicone rubber. No doubt about it. Synthesizer 
At one point, I thought I would see the end of physics as we know it, but now I think the wonder of this. So the computer basically read his mind and say what he's about to say. People wake up, it's all garbage. Wow, all you believe this is beyond me. A damn mannequin they bring to the masses. Wow. will continue long after I am gone. Mm -hmm. But this was never a man bound by and his this own. This is how they mock the masses right here. Just like I tell you, there ain't no damn space and people don't believe. They go in the gravity plane, the plane with the zero gravity called zero G. They go in that shit and when they go up to a certain altitude, it let them float for a few seconds. Like 45 seconds they can float and then they have to do this the procedure all over again so they could float. So let me tell you right here, this is how they map the masses by putting them in the same damn shit they call space and trick the masses. It's the same shit. Physical limitations. He reveled in a zero gravity flight. That's how they map the masses. You know this? He never let out. He's still wrapped up in the same position where they put him in right there. Let's go back right there. Let's check it out. If he even goes straight now, wake up. Don't physical limitations. He reveled in a... bent up the same way I was sitting in the chair. Wow. And now he's in zero gravity. Wake your ass up, people. This is how they map the masses. See, he said zero gravity at the top. Zero G. Zero G, that means zero gravity. That's what they call it. It's all bullshit. 100% they ain't got no thing called gravity. It's just weight. When the plane go up to a certain altitude, this is zero G right here. It basically let them float in the air for about 45 seconds. And if you notice, when they do the space bullshit, they basically have to cut it and attach it just so they could get a longer film. It's all fucking bullshit right here, they're mocking you. Zero gravity flight, freeing him, he said, from the confines of his wheelchair. He also wrote a series of children's books about space with his daughter. That's why he wrote children's books, because he was here to program the damn masses, 100%. To Lucy, he had two There's other children. ball earth right there that they're basically pushing on the masses right there. The earth is not a ball spared. Ball, earth is not a ball, okay? It's not a ball of water spinning. It's all fake. Wow. Children and three grandchildren. For more Everything they give you is coded. Three grandchildren for more than three decades. This one right here is paralyzed and has become a vegetable. Three decades, he was a professor at Cambridge University's Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics, specializing in the study of black holes and... Black holes, that's how you know he's a big old dummy, people. Wake your ass up. Once you hear black hole and gravity, you know it's 100% garbage. Don't buy into it. What the fuck is a black hole? They trick the masses. Wow. Revered as a member of the academic elite. But Professor Hawking... He's a member of the academic elite. Wake your ass up. This one is a mannequin. ...also did much to popularise science, playing himself in Star Trek. This is how they mark the masses. He plays himself in Star Trek. Wow. Trying to manalise science. Trying to put the science on the people. Wake up. The direction. <laughs> and the Simpsons. <laughs> In 2014, his life and romance with wife Jane Wilde was depicted on the... There you go, they make a movie of his so-called life. It's 100% garbage. Screen, the acclaimed film, The Theory of Everything. So the universe getting smaller and smaller, getting denser and denser. This is how they sell you the bullshit. The universe is all garbage. A flat earth we live on with no fucking curvature. Wake your ass up. These are all programming for the dumb masses. What's her in hot, sir? You mean wind back the clock? Exactly, wind back the clock. Hawking consulted on the biodrama, which earned five Academy Awards. There you go, win Academy Awards for the bullshit. Wake up, people. That's the only thing they give award. Made up bullshit, okay? Wake your ass up. Look at this mannequin right there, tricking the masses. Wake up on this one. It's not a Nominations and a Best Actor win for Eddie Redmayne for his portrayal of the physicist. Hawking's most famous work, a brief... There you go right there. That's how they program the masses right there with books and everything. History of Time remains one of the best-selling science books ever written mm -hmm. and he was deeply concerned with humanity's survival. I see great dangers for the human race. 
there have been a number of there you go right there this is what they sell you computer generated bullshit and tell you it's a universe wake your ass up people in the past when its survival has been a question of touch and go the frequency of such occasions is likely to increase in the future we shall need great care and judgment to negotiate them all success this all they show you is scientific bullshit people wow a fake satellite right here computer graphics wow and that is all he talk about and they call him a smart mind wow wow but i'm an optimist mm -hmm. if we can avoid disaster for the next two centuries mm -hmm. our species should be safe mm -hmm. as we spread into space he was that's how they trick the masses it's 100 percent garbage no doubt about it we're living on a flat earth and they use a fucking mannequin to tell you that the earth is a round ball spinning. Bam! Wake your ass up, mag. I'm back on.